questions. Now, before we get to an all-star panel are, that are sitting here with me, let's go straight to Andriy Yermak. He's the head of the presidential administration of Ukraine, and he's joining us from Kyiv. So, sir, thank you so much for joining us and for being here with us today. Mr. Yermak, where are we militarily in this war today, and how would you define victory? Uh, dear Ms. Uh, Ms. Lakwa, dear panelists, dear guests, thank you for the honor of the opening this meeting. It's dedicated to one of the most uh, pressing issues in today's world. Uh, this panel is focused on securing Europe. I'm here an, an, an official uh, Ukrainian representative. No more doubts, obviously, Ukraine is Europe. Shame it took eight years for Europeans to realize it. In those eight years, the world order shattered, the political map was legally changed. Tens of thousands of the people died, and millions more had to escape. However, escape, despite all the crimes Russia soldier committed in Bucha, Mariupol, Chernigov, and dozens of other locations. We keep hearing calls for capitulation for the sake of the peace in Europe. Some of our partners are still suggesting us to give into aggressors to save lives. Negotiations, also called territorial disputes, are proposed. How can uh, one believe it when Russia show or tried intention to destroy Ukraine? How can one hope for while well, Russian opinions leaders are calling Ukrainians, us, the wrong Russians? How can one expect it given the numerous testimonies of the act of genocide against Ukraines committed by Russian troops? Ukraine does not have any territorial dispute with Russia. Russia has simply occupied and tried to annex Ukrainian territories illegally, absolutely. More than uh, anyone, we strive a balanced and traditional re dialogue. However, Russian political culture does not provide uh, for a dialogue like the equal terms. Its basis its dictation and languages of the brute force. More than one in one is uh, one the world they seek peace, but it should be just. Our sovereignty and territorial integrity are not subject of the compromise. We are dealing with the ideologies and practices terribly alike the worst distro ships and the, the last century. History teach us that pacific and aggressors is futile. They always take peacefulness for the weakness. They demand more with every next concession. Therefore, there is only one way to prevent the war in Ukraine from escalating into continental and even world war. Help Ukraine win. Now you don't have to wage this war. Just help us to do it. <clears throat> Otherwise, you have to, you have sent your troops to the battles. Helping Ukraine is a way to resolve the construction between value policy and real politics. This is a way to send a clear signal to potential aggressor in the future. Their actions will not uh, will, will not go to unfinished. So Ukraine immediate goal to stop Russia brutal aggression and ensures the complete withdrawal of these troops from our lands. Then we must find a reliable way to deter Russian from repeating aggression in the future. But the world order is nearly wrecked and shattered. Russia's presence in the United Nations is semi-paralyzed with the Russian presence 
in the Security Council. The OCE has lost its recent data. NATO is the only institution capable of the providing a real security umbrella to its members. But some of the alien nations still allow Russia to veto Ukraine's accession. So we have to take alternative path. Today, I am glad here in Davos to announce that together with the former NATO Secretary General, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, we are establishing an international advisory working group. Its aim is to make some recommendation for a reliable and efficient security guarantees for Ukraine. Leading figures from security policy and diplomacy as Dell is a scientist, will be invited to join and they contribute. We look forward to involving the friends of Ukraine who can offer their experience and their expertise to efficiently implement the initiative. Our goal is to stop history from repeating and prepare the future for the sovereign and free Ukraine. Given the Budapest Memorandum experience, we issued that the future agreements should contain security guarantees, not insurance. And this is very important. No third party security obligations can fully substitute for Ukraine, developing and sustaining its own strong defense capabilities. So the first block of the security guarantees it's related to enhancing Ukrainian ability to resist aggression. To ensure Ukraine's defense capabilities, the guarantor states should provide our armed force with the modern conventional weapons and military equipment. No restrictions, nor political motivated bars. We need weapons to defense, only to defense. We must be able they stand any aggressions. I want to say to you that since February 24, nearly 700 Ukrainian children have been killed, touched, raped, and wounded by Russian troops. Who's are we know for sure? So we told probably much higher. Over 230,000 kids, they're deported to Russia. We must be able to protect our children. They have the right to live in this safe country. And we are to ensure that the right. As a part of our commitment partners could help us in the fields of intelligence sharing information, security, cyber security, maritime security. We believe that rapid recovery of defense potential of Ukraine, it's one of the important factors in the preventing the new possible aggression. Russia has badly damaged our economy, and we can't put enough money into defense in the coming years. So we'll need a new financial help for reconstruction purposes, as well as we financing the security and defense. The next block of the security guarantees in sections. They are an effective tools for the stopping Russian aggressions today and deterring in the future. The current sanctions should last at the very least until complete withdrawal of the Russian troops from Ukraine. Their mitigation and lifting should be agreed with the government of Ukraine. We should consider the risk of restoring Russian military technical potential. They also believe that guarantees of the imposition of the preventive sanction should be also provided in case of real threat to our state. And of course, in the event of the aggression, immediate and coordinated sanctions should be provided. The final block of the security guarantees, 
It's related to political and diplomatic support of Ukraine. In bending Ukraine in the multilateral diplomatic uh, process would improve our integration in the international community. First of all, I mean it's about Ukraine joining the European Union as soon as possible. I need to emphasize we don't think we so-called alternative formats of the integration are acceptable here. Ukraine also support the establishment of the coalition of the responsible states like the friends of Ukraine <coughs> or until war coalition, U24, which be ready to effectively respond to the of violations of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine within 24 hours. This means providing the necessary military and military technical, financial, and humanitarian aid, as well as imposing sanctions against the aggressor's country within 24 hours. When it comes to security guarantees for ourselves, we are not asking. We are offer our partners to invest to common security. First, European. But in the future, the system could become the base of new global security architecture. Thank you very much for your time. And now the pleasure I give the floor to Ms. Lakwa. Thank you for your attention. Mr. Yermak, thank you.